GF caught making out with another guy at a party, literally just walked away and we never spoke again. Looking back, I am proud I didn't cause a scene or resort to violence. Yeah, there's no reason. You don't need to sink to that level. You know what I mean? You just gotta walk away, change your Reddit username, and all will be well. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that name. I'm like, it's the only thing I don't like about, well, I don't like the cheating either. Obviously, that's a given. I was in high school and I felt my girlfriend and I drifting apart. Oh, that's sad. We were all at a house party and I walked by the living room where my girlfriend and another guy were making out on the couch. I took a sip of my drink, said, yep, that's about right, and walked away. I broke up with her the following. The following morning, she spent a whole night thinking you guys were together when you weren't. Hell no. That's like crazy. I just don't, don't cheat at all, but like in the middle of a party where there's a bunch of people plus the person you're dating? Very bizarre. Ooh. Surprise! Mm. Get the out of my house. Yeah, see you, bye y'all. Have fun. Wow. First of all, I would have never left a girl's weekend early to come home to a cheating man. <laughs> Not a chance. Imagine, in your own house too, like mm -mm -mm -mm, where you sleep, where you hang out, for somebody to bring that kind of negativity into your home is pretty rude. I'm just gonna be honest about that. Not a cop and that changed my life, check. Wait guys, keep speaking out. Please don't put it on Snapchat. I won't. I won't put it on my Snapchat. I'm lying. <laughs> oh my god. So, <laughs> okay. So it looks like they're all in a night out. It sounds like everyone's had a couple beverages. And then that one guy's like cheating on whoever, but that person that they're cheating on isn't there. And then the other people are taking footage of it so that they can go tell the partner. I think that's what I gathered from that situation and if so shout out to them also i'm not gonna put this on snapchat i'm joking <laughs> dinner friday fine I really it's funny because i know you're at mass what i know you are at mass what do you mean i'm not stupid i have people tell me and i have pictures and it wasn't just once either i obviously have to say something are you recording this yeah i'm recording it can we just talk about this no f you Oy, oh, you could tell like immediately when she said it, like her face dropped. Mm -mm. And she looks at the other person and she's like, well, what am I supposed to do? I don't know. If you're gonna be sneaky, sneaky like that, you gotta take those secrets to the grave. <laughs> I mean, don't be sneaky, sneaky like that. But if you are, I mean, what again, what were you expecting? She's friends to both of you, but you're doing the wrong thing, you know? Girl in our friend group ruins everything by sleeping with another girl's boyfriend, check. It's literally you. What? You're literally caught. You slept with Carson's boyfriend, so. Oh my God. I did not do that. You literally did. You. We literally know there's cameras. You're literally she caught. She's on her way over right now. I love that everyone gets defensive when they find out they're being recorded. <laughs> Cause they're like, oh, I'm really caught in the act. <laughs> not only caught in this one moment right now, but Forever, caught forever. Yikes, oh my gosh, and they're all just laying on the bed having a good time. Mm-mm-mm, oh gosh, that's just a bad situation. At first, like, I feel like she was trying to like laugh about it and be like, haha, that's so silly because Carson clearly isn't there, but she's on her way. She's gonna be there right away. And I'm like, why is that the response? You know, maybe, I mean, people laugh when they're uncomfortable, so maybe it's that, but maybe it's somebody not taking it too seriously when they should. Oh, you know what's funny? That you my boyfriend. <laughs> it took her so long. <laughs> it took her way too long to think of a response and all she came up with was, what do you mean? <laughs> I'm like, you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, dang. Yikes. Man, people are really just out here calling people out. I love it. I love to see it. I love direct, assertive behavior. So I'm all here for it. Wow, she really played herself. And the fact that she's making the video of it, 
I feel like she should feel worse than she actually does. That seems like she's just upset she got caught. Not that, you know, she's hurting people and doing the wrong thing and being dishonest. What's up, Zyda? You wanna tell us the truth? The truth about what? That you keep playing with us? I'm not playing with so you. So you didn't pick me up from work Monday? You and you didn't come to my house that. the Sunday before that? I never told you. So we haven't been sleeping to... with each other while you were talking to him? What are you talking about? Zyla, say it. We haven't? No. Oh Swear my God, gosh. We have not. When they're both standing right there, you can't lie anymore. It's just done. You're caught. Okay, we both know what the truth is. Oh, dang. Oh, I hate cheaters. What the heck? Uh, just be honest. And, you know, do what you... Do what you want to do, but don't hurt other people in the process. Be honest. Just say, I don't want a relationship right now. I want to see other people or I want an open relationship or polyamorous one. You know, it's 2022. Uh, come on. You don't have to cheat. There's other options. All right. So on the way home, you guys down to play, uh, you know, two truths and a lie. Let's go. Let's go. No, no, no. Just between me. All right. Bet. TikTok? All right. Yeah, yeah. TikTok. So, first one is I'm six foot two. Second one is I'm 500 pounds. Third one is you slept with my girl, bro. What? You slept with my girl, Omar. That's funny, you're lying. You're not gonna admit that you slept with my girl, you're still gonna f a lot of me right to my face? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, everyone's doing the two truths and a lie thing, eh? <laughs> I'm like, I guess that's a trend. I gotta look that up on TikTok because I might need a little more of this content. <laughs> I can't hear anything. <laughs> There's no sound. <laughs> Okay, well that was just a Overwatch clip, so. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my god. Hey, we all gotta cope somehow. You know what I mean? So at least um, she's not hurting anybody. She's not out here burning anyone's stuff. She's just, you know, <laughs> playing that song, getting some royalties given. <laughs> Who am I getting lunch with? My sister's fiance's mistress. I work at a dating app and I found my sister's groom to be. was chatting with all these other women. When I told my sister, instead of dumping him, she uninvited me from the wedding. So I invited all those other women to wedding crash. And this girl Carmen was the only one down for the drama. She actually hit me up for lunch and to talk revenge plans. And since my sister and I aren't really on speaking terms, I'm excited to make a new friend. But I'm so nervous. We need a part two. Did somebody ask this girl for a part two? Is there a part two? Somebody drop me the link because I need to see. I'm not so sure about how I feel about like, okay, hear me out. Should not have been uninvited to the wedding. Okay, okay wait, let's go back even a step further. The people who work at dating apps can see your conversations? I don't know. That's something that we need to talk about. I want questions answered. Don't agree with her sister uninviting her to the wedding because she's just trying to help her out. But I also am not so sure about just like, <laughs> this revenge scheme on your sister like when she's having a hard time already you know what i mean i don't know i don't think i'm on anyone's side but i am invested in the story I was not expecting that. Uh, you got me. I'm not happy that I just had to see a bug because I don't like those things, but that's funny. That's a funny little prank. Well, actually, no, it's not funny. It's not funny because clearly this person was very stressed out. Mean prank. I don't like pranks. I don't like to be pranked and I definitely don't do pranks because I don't know. I just don't have time for that. I don't have time to scheme, set up, plan, like nothing. Um, but I also don't like to be pranked. You know? No. I like to laugh, but with other people. <laughs> Not people laughing at me. You know what I mean? <sighs> Sometimes people laugh at you no matter what, though. It's just how life goes. That was so sad. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, he got got. <laughs> I love when they team up in the end, you know? You think that they're gonna dislike each other and then they team up. We love to see it. Dang, to have the like highlight on your page be like the ring emoji and then to be like sliding into someone else's DMs, suspicious behavior. What would you do? Would you do the same thing that he did? Like, would you take the screenshot, do the sleuthing, send it? Or would you just go, I feel like, I don't know. I don't like getting involved in other people's business, but sometimes you gotta give people a heads up. So I don't know. Mm -mm -mm tough to say. Also, I don't know if you guys will get the music or not, but that was ultra calming. I almost fell asleep. I'm not going to lie. It's just so peaceful. Man, girls will find out anything. Like I probably would have never noticed that to be honest. <laughs> I don't know, it's tough to say. I would do some more sleuthing, you know? I would figure out what you got under that turtleneck, huh? You wanna go swimming or something? <laughs> or be like, look, I bought you this new crew neck. You wanna try it on? Also, what's 80 degrees in Celsius? I'm Googling it, one sec. 26? 0.6, so we'll round up. 27, that's a hot summer day. That definitely doesn't add up. And he's wearing a jacket over top. That one was really sad. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Oh, dang. Also, I, what are purple snaps? I don't know. I don't really use Snapchat because I'm an adult. <laughs> God, no offense, but you know, I just ain't got time. I, there's only so many social medias I can have as an adult and uh, Snapchat didn't make the cut. So, sorry. It was a joke, dude. I didn't mean you actually go my dad. What the Why would anyone do that? I don't know. He's 45. Oh my God. <laughs> what a nightmare. Mm -mm. No thanks. <laughs> Oh my God. Imagine being there for this fight. Kermit is sipping that tea because it's hot. Getting hickeys from And I'm just finding out right now, but I want all YouTube to see this face. This is going on YouTube for all them guys who are talking to Vivian. Ugh. We'll try to get a face for you guys. What's your Facebook then? Hector, get the out of my face. What's your You're Facebook? in my house, get out. Stop. Get out. Get out. Stop. You're just mad. Did you say you're just mad? I'm like, yeah, of course he's mad. I'm, I'm just gonna stay angry. I find that relaxes me. What do you mean? He just found hickeys that aren't from him on you. So that means Somebody else is doing that. Of course he's mad. Are you insane? I couldn't even imagine. I would have just left. I wouldn't have even made this video. That wasn't English. I would not have even made this video. I just would have said, bye. <laughs> imagine. If I ever catch somebody cheating, I'm gonna go, bye. <laughs> Taylor won't cheat on me. I know that. I'm not worried. He's in the other room. <laughs> okay. So now you want to tell me you're not sleeping with my husband? Is that what you want to tell me right now? What? What? Seriously, Lacey, 
Lacey, you're sitting in my husband's car at 11 o'clock at night, so drunk he's got to take you home. Okay. Okay, what? You don't have anything to say? I want to hear it because I can't wait. Here he comes. We'll get his version of it too. Yeah, she's not here, right? Yeah, she's not here, right, guy? That's not good. That's not good. Oh, no. This is the worst. This is a bad situation on a lot of different levels. That one's stressful. Oh, God. I feel so bad. She sounds sweet, too. Not that it matters, but shucks. That's all I can say. Sounds like I'm making light of it. I'm not. I just feel bad and uncomfortable. You should have shown. Oh, you got a goo. Oh, you got a doe. Look at the monkey ass. Look at the monkey ass. Shout you a cheeky shout I don't like to see it. I don't like to see it. You know what I mean? But at least this person's just, hey, here's your stuff. I mean, not in like the best manner, but hey, better than, again, throwing it out, burning it, all that stuff we've seen before. Better than that, at least. Hi, Brendan. Hi, Hello. Uh, <laughs> my friend Jenna. <laughs> he seems so, he seems so calm, Brenda. Yeah. Because I sort of thought about it. Really? Oh my god. <laughs> what the f are you playing at? Yeah. Come on. Tell us. What? So you were saying Omar? So. We, I was. You told her yesterday on the phone you were seeing nobody. Yep. And you said you haven't been on any dates, and you've been lying to her. Wasn't a date. What was it then? <laughs> yeah. What was it? Too nice. I love when people like get caught cheating and then try and act all smug and like so smug like he thought it was funny like this They're like above everyone else. I'm like You should just like say sorry kind of own up like I don't know instead of just being like this <laughs> There was another word I was gonna use and then I said oh can't use that one AITA for gate crashing my ex's wedding and causing the marriage to get annulled. Oh my gosh, everyone sucks. My ex's wedding was in February. I found out about it from his grandmother, we're close, and she suggested I gate crash. I was interested in going because I wanted to find some closure and still wasn't over him, so I said yes. Why would you say yes? The day came, I snuck in and watched the ceremony. I was ready to leave, but his grandmother pushed me to go to the reception as well. Pretty awkward, but I went. I was mingling with the family when the bride and groom came. They greeted and she congratulated me on the visible pregnancy. I thanked her and said I couldn't wait to co-parent with the two of them. Turns out she didn't know I was five months pregnant with his kid the whole time. She lost her shit and ran out. Whoa, dude, that is a lot. First off, how do you not know that? You know, like how has this dude not come out and said like, hey, like also having a child with this other woman, you know, like that one chick who like I was dating. Yeah, like she is gonna have my baby. So you should probably know that. And number two, the grandmother. Like this grandmother is here to start some stuff, man. Like, I don't know what you were on granny, but like this is not the time to be bringing this person here, you know, like, holy, there's a lot going on there. So Boris BC one year ago, probably about 20 years ago now, I was cycling around the lake here in Canberra and riding through one of the garden areas and I see some cops hauling away a gardener. I was all like, that's weird, but okay. Later on, I found out it was the groom's ex. She disguised herself as a gardener, gotten close to the bride and thrown manure at her? Crazy stuff, oh my gosh thrown manure at her. That is insanity, man. Like, I feel so bad. In your wedding gown, too. Like, in your wedding gown that you probably either rented for, like, obscene amount of money or, like, bought for more obscene amount of money. That is horrible. That is truly horrible. And she dressed up, too. She, she really played the part as a gardener. Oh, my goodness. That's commitment. Oh, boy. What is this? What is this? Like this just looks all bad, man. Like this is just like, this is just horrible. This is just like people at their most vulnerable, like desperate places right now, if this is real, which is like, you know, saying something right now. Cause like, how do you capture something like this on camera? You know, but like, if this is real, like, holy moly, this is messed up. How did you get here, dude? How did all of you get here?
Why is it the wedding? You know what I mean? Why is it that you chose to do this on the wedding? Like, there were so many other days that this could have been done. And I'm not saying, like, I don't know the whole backstory here. Like, maybe you got screwed over. Like, maybe you really got screwed over here. But, like, why the wedding? You know? Like, it could have been done so much better, I think. My opinion. Oh boy. We're calling them out. You're not gonna ruin my day. We're calling them out. <laughs> wow. Everybody has flaws and that's why I love them. You can leave, yeah. Judy. Like you don't have flaws. You can leave. You can oh. get out of my wedding now. I'm not leaving. That dress you're wearing, I'm paid for. Wow. Man, this is their day. This is their day. Like, why, why? You know, it's like, I get it, you were hurt. You you went through some stuff. This was traumatic for you, but this is their day, you know? It's like, dude, hit them up on their honeymoon. Hit them up on like pre, like bachelor party, but like not on the wedding day. Come on, man. Aloha. Oh, we Aloha. got some Karens in the wild. Like, this is the beach, and the beach is closed. I hate it. This is the beach. This is the beach and the beach is closed. And how many, you know, you're always doing this for money. You know? Hey, don't bush us. Don't bush us. You guys get a vacation home, which is illegal. Vacation home, illegal. Oh, all right, folks. So I'm gonna be honest. I missed out on the volume there. I felt like the volume was very critical in that time period because I did not hear what that guy was saying about or that woman, like what they were talking about there. Um, so please let me know in the comments down below what was going on there. I can only speculate that uh, that like buddy behind the camera, whoever that was, has some sort of beef with number one, who he was talking to off the top. Like, there's got to be some sort of history there. But let me know in the comments down below. And this is the part where the minister says. If anyone knows any reason why these two should not be wed, speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Cheat at 4 p.m. That's James' ex-girlfriend, Karen. Linda is not who you think she is. Oh, oh. Looks like oh. Karen couldn't hold we fight. peace for we a second. We could throw down? What's going on? Oh, I wanted to see the throwdown. I'm gonna see the throwdown. Not that you should be fighting people, guys. I'm not trying to condone that, but like, you know, kind of wanted to see the throwdown. I thought that you were gonna reveal more about Linda. Like, I was kind of hoping that Linda was like gonna be some secret spy agent. Like, you don't, like, you, Linda's not who she says she is. She's actually like a secret agent. And then like, you know, cops come flying in and it's like, woo, like crazy stuff. You know, it's like just the no moral thing. I was like, ah, okay, yeah, fine, whatever. So once again, guys, the audio actually cut out for me there. I can't hear the volume, so I don't know what they were saying, but I saw the reaction, so that must have been major. The fact that they, like this woman was going after it. Like, we throw something, and we're following up with the big hit. So, wow, that uh, that really got them riled up. This is crazy. I, these, I actually really vibe with this video. This is pretty fun. Man, people in high school do crazy things. I'm like rocking back and forth. Like I'm making myself nervous. I'm probably making you guys nervous. <laughs> Sorry. Chris is out here really trying to get this 15 second video to load. <laughs> oh my God. The internet works hard, but Chris works harder. <laughs> okay. Clip six and three, two, one. Oh, nope. I keep clicking with both my fingers, like that works. <laughs> it's my first day using a computer. Don't talk to me about it. <laughs>